team, what's up? Today, let's factor out 256 ten thousandths x squared minus 4 ninths y squared. But how? Hello, Learn Team! Today, let's check out the world of the difference of two squares. Are you ready for it? Let's do this! To give an overview of what we are going to do today, here it is. First, we are going to do a recall on perfect squares and the sum and difference of two terms. Then we dive into the world of factoring the difference of two squares. And lastly, factor out the difference of two squares. Now let's do the recall. Surprise! What do we have here? An array of numbers. Now guys, identify which numbers are perfect squares. Please pause the video to write down your answers. Great! Now let's see if we have the same answers, starting from the least square number. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Fantastic! Now let's go next. 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, 256, 289, 324, 361, and lastly, 400. Now guess what? These numbers are the first 20 perfect squares. You are gorgeous! Now let's do another recall. The quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3. Are you familiar with the form? Genius! This is the sum and difference of two terms. And the product is? That is right, it's x squared minus 9. Wonderful! Now want another example? Here's another one. The quantity of 3x plus 2 times the quantity of 3x minus 2. And the product is? 9x squared minus 4. I know you can do it. Now let's dive in. Multiplying the sum and difference of two terms will get us the difference of two squares. And therefore, factoring out the difference of two squares will give us the sum and difference of two terms. Bravo! Now check out our factoring machine. Any polynomial we are going to put in the yellow box will be factored out. The factored form will be placed in the blue box. Let's try! The difference of two squares. And the factored form? Yes, it's the sum and difference of two terms. Now let us try out some numbers. 16y squared minus 25. The answer? You're correct. It's the sum and difference of 4y and 5. Now one more example. 4 hundredths a squared minus 1 fourth. The answer? That's correct. It is the sum and difference of 2 tenths a and 1 half. 4 hundredths a squared minus 1 fourth becomes the sum and difference of 2 tenths a and 1 half. But how? Hmm. Let's find out. Let's check out our factor factory. In our factor factory, we have all these boxes. And these boxes are our processors. Do you have any idea what's gonna be in those boxes? Let's check it out. For example, we have 
four hundredths a squared minus one fourth. This box right here is for the first term. And our first term is four hundredths a squared. The square root of four hundredths a squared is two tenths a. This second box right here is for our second term. And our second term is one fourth. The square root of one fourth is one half. Perfect. Now we place our square roots on this box. And there you go. And for the last process, we are going to express these two terms as the sum and difference of two terms. Now let us put another binomial in the factor factory. 49y squared minus 100z to the fourth. The first term is 49y squared. We get the square root. It's 7y. Now the second term is 100z to the fourth. And the square root is 10z squared. Now we place our square roots in this box. We have two terms, 7y and 10z squared. And for the last process, we are going to express these two terms as the sum and difference of two terms. It's the quantity of 7y plus 10z squared times the quantity of 7y minus 10z squared. But question, when can we tell that our polynomial is a difference of two squares? Let's check our checklist. First, count the number of terms. Is the first term a perfect square? Is the last term a perfect square? Is our binomial a subtraction of two perfect squares? Now let's check. Are these two terms? Check. Is the first term a perfect square? Check. Is the second term a perfect square? Check, check, check. And is our binomial a subtraction of two perfect squares. Then you got it. You amaze me, guys. Now it's your turn to factor. Factor out 256 10,000 x squared minus 4 ninths y squared. That's amazing. Let's factor out the difference of two squares. Now you can pause the video to solve for the answer. Number 1, x squared minus 9. Again, pause the video to solve for the answer. And the answer is the sum and difference of x and 3. Good job! Number 2, 45y squared minus 5. Again, you can pause the video to solve for the answer. Now, sometimes it is necessary to remove the GCF before you can factor it out completely. The GCF here in our example is 5. We can factor out our binomial and we have the product of 5 and the quantity of 9y squared minus 1. Then, the final factored form is... 5 times the product of the sum and difference of 3y and 1. Good job! Let's go to number 3. You can pause the video to solve for the answer. This time, removing a GCF of negative 1 will result to the difference of 2 squares, which then we'll give you a chance to factor it out as the sum and difference of two terms. Now here is an alternative method. Both methods can be proven algebraically. Good job! And today is another day of valuable learning. Thanks for watching!
Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget to hit the notification bell for more videos.